is the Big Rose with Otto and George. Completely uncensored entertainment on Bash Fox TV. With Abe Ruiz and the Squatters. Our amazing burlesque dancing team, the Piglets. On tonight's show, we have Jim Norton. Musical guest, Bagora. Welcome to the Pig Roast with Otto and George. This is George, I'm Otto. This is the Pig Roast. Completely uncensored entertainment just for the internet brought to you by Bashbox TV. This is uncensored entertainment. A cock, a doodle doo, suck that cock. <laughs> and we're coming to you from New York City this week. New, New York, you're a New Yorker. Yeah, New York is great. I drive the taxi. Anybody recognize me? Yeah, I got well, that. It's too fucking hot to have sex, man. You know what I did last night? I think the back injury to get a blowjob for my girlfriend. I went, honey, my back hurts. Ow, pain. Suck that cock. <laughs> well, did it work out for you? Instead of giving me head, she started kissing my dick like this. Hold your hand up like it's a cock. All right. Uh, yeah, you're used to that. All right. She started kissing my prick like this. <laughs> I said, what is that, your grandmother? You want Hanukkah money? Suck that cock! Why don't you talk nice to her? I thought that was nice. Uh, she gives me a little head and then she goes, tell me before you come. What is that, ground rules? You ever heard of this? No, I haven't. I gotta tell her when I'm gonna come. When I'm gonna come, the only thing I can say is, <laughs> You can't talk when you're coming, you'll have a fucking stroke. Oh. Tell me when you're gonna come. What am I supposed to do, make an announcement? Attention, cocksucker! Get out of the way, the half and half is coming. All right, uh, this is not a test, suck that cock, dirty little whore. All right, uncensored. Can I tell them about the show? Tell them about the show, Geppetto. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this is Abe Ruiz and the Squatters. All right. They live here. We're doing this TV show for my apartment, basically. That's what's going on here. Hey, Abe, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? You filthy drug mule. All right. How come you have no money? You're Latin. Sell some drugs. No, no. Guilty. No, no. Hey, Abe, could you introduce the band for the people at home? Absolutely. Uh, on tuba, we got Ben Stat. He got a pretty mouth. All right, now. Why don't you get a smaller instrument? You gotta slug that fucking thing around. By the time you pack that up, the fucking harmonica player is getting a blowjob. All right. <laughs> and the guy in the drums there, Lieutenant Dan. Chris Lamentino, okay. Uh, Italian? Yes. Agalamad! Okay. <laughs> the last gentleman Miguel, on bass. Miguel Matias. Also Latin. Yes, sir. Cellmates. No, no. <laughs> Get some sun. You look like you fell out of the coffin. <laughs> That's great. And over here we have the piglets, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the lovely piglets. Introduce yourself, ladies. Suck the cock. I'm the Finger and ass. And I'm Samantha. All right, double cock. Okay. <laughs> right. You girls look so beautiful. Lovely. Thank you. Oh. Are you girls into wood? I had a wooden cock. I was circumcised with a pencil sharpener. <laughs> oh, cock! All right, now. Hey, I stay hard when I'm drunk, you know what I mean? Throw those legs up and you're a bad girl. All right. Hey, let's tell them about the show. Stop touching me. It's hot. 
How come I gotta wear a suit? You look like you're doing a fucking load of laundry. <laughs> I'm hot in this fucking day. What am I going to assembly? <laughs> uh, I'll get I'll get you something, uh, you cocksucker. I'd like to cave your fucking head in with an axe handle. Okay. <laughs> We have a great show tonight, believe me. We have Jim Norton from the Opie and Anthony Show here tonight. We have Baco and Shane from the band Bagora is here tonight. Performing their song, That Woman's Got Me Drinking, and The, the Devil Did Something on Somewhere. Um, I fucked it up, sorry, Kev. So come back after the commercial, and the show will begin. right there just you ever have your balls just hang wrong way and you have to keep adjusting them where's my coffee oh um i'm out of half and half i'm sorry we're gonna have to share share all right was your disgusting mouth on that cup get two cups all right you could drink it i don't even want any coffee fuck it right, let's see who's screw up in the news this week man looks like herman kane is still in trouble over the allegations of him groping women do you think he's guilty of course I think he's guilty. He's black. <laughs> oh, man, did you see this? Uh, a deranged man from Idaho calls himself a modern-day Jesus Christ tried to assassinate President Obama by shooting at the White House. Really? I thought Rick Perry was from Texas. <laughs> Jay Leno. Uh, looks like Tori Spelling was caught in an unex unexpected scandal this week when her husband accidentally tweeted a topless photo of her. She thought, at the time that slack your yokel deleted a photo, it had been viewed six times. She sucks anyway. Who the fuck wants to see her naked? Yuck. In this shape and fucking dog face. Uh, Facebook has a problem this week. A virus got into their system and began posting hardcore porn and violent images on users' profile pages. Yeah, they fixed it by removing 10 states from the network. <laughs> hey, you hear this one? Sandusky and a 10-year-old boy walking in the woods, and the boy looks up at Sandusky and goes, It's cold, it's dark, I want my nanny. And he goes, Hey, how do you think I feel? I gotta walk back alone. Okay. <laughs> oh, you know. Right. Pedophiles, man. How, what are they gonna do with a guy like that? <laughs> and lock him in jail with the rest of the sodomites. You know what they should do to Sandusky? Wrap piano wire around his cock and balls and tie the other end to Vin Diesel's dumper. <laughs> uh, that's not easy to say without moving your lips. Yeah, don't worry, you didn't. All right, let me try it again. Vin Diesel's dumper. Vin Diesel's dumper. Vin Diesel's... Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, the latest Twilight film, Breaking Dawn Part 1, opened this week and made $138 million dollars worldwide just on Friday. Yeah, also shattered the record for most girls think of dying in the balcony. Right. <laughs> what else in the news this week? Fucked up people everywhere. Demi Moore filed for divorce from Ashton Kutcher. Yeah, she got tired of birthing him after they got done fucking. <laughs> I'd still bang her. I feel sorry for her. Yeah. Why? She's fucking loaded and that douche that Kutcher was dead weight. He was dying another chick without a condom. He should die. Uh, maybe he'll go out with Betty White next. She's old like Demi, yeah. Yeah, could you imagine the inside of Betty White's cunt? It's gotta be fucking bats in there. Uh, I guess Regis Philbin's retiring too, huh? Isn't that cocksucker dead yet? No, he's not dead. Why is he the gold standard of television? I'm tired of him. Crawl into a coffin and then fucking die. I don't know. Who's going to take over that show? It's impossible to fill that seat. Zuccotti Park sparkles as Judge OK's mob boot 99% clean. Yeah, Mr. Dirty Syringes and fucking homeless fecal matter. Let's all take a shit in a pickle bucket. All right, that'll show them. Disgusting homeless fucking assholes. And those cops should have beat the shit out of everybody. And last, Kim Kardashian was cast in the next Tyler Perry movie. 
Yeah, how many movies is that asshole gonna do? Can't stand his shit. Big black guy in a woman's dress. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever seen one of Tyler Perry's shows. People already know the movie's gonna bomb, and it looks like Tyler Perry is the next black guy in line that Kim Kardashian fucks. I don't know. Maybe. You know what? Good stuff doesn't make the news. It's always gonna be bad, and there's always gonna be idiots. So uh, we'll do more news next week. Thank you. It's left foot yellow. Left foot yellow. Good. Now take both your hands, gently slide them into her asshole, and begin clapping. <laughs> oh, my little lovelies. All right. Okay, s spin the wheel, you fucking asshole. Oh, yeah. You can't even do that. I'm doing it. Oh, it's right hand green. Oh, you dumb horse, I'd like to smash your heads together. <laughs> oh, it's good. Yeah, right, right hand, okay, you dumbbell. All right, okay, spin, spin the wheel, fuckhead. Hang on, okay. It's, you got the same one, right? Spin, I'm spinning it again. Suck. All right, left hand yellow. Ugh. Okay, that's good. All right, the one on the right. Yuck. All right. Hey, who is it? Who is it? It's Jim. It's Jim. No hey, come on in, Jim. Come in, look. How humiliating. You say, knock, who is it? I don't know to say Jim. Yeah. That was a little zero. So from the Tonight Show to this, your career is really moving in the wrong direction, man. Yeah, it's like the fucking challenger. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, Jimmy, you're single again. What do you think of the piglets, man? I think they're all very lovely girls. Are they? Are they all single? Uh, girls? <laughs> uh, I like that. With, and with personality, too. Yeah, let's get all the short answers. Oh my God. So uh, we got to say happy birthday, everybody. It's Jimmy's birthday. And he oh, thank you. Oh, God. I can't believe you two fucking assholes know each other. This is so awkward. It sucks. All right. <laughs> I love the O and A show. I, I was listening the other day and I quote, Comedy Central does not respect me as an artist. Now, aren't you throwing that word artist around a lot? I mean, <laughs> did fucking Rembrandt tell dick jokes in casinos and comedy clubs? That's a fair point. No, I mean, he's, he's, he's one of the greats. Ah, you groveling douche bag. He's here. Stop kissing his ass. <laughs> Now, Jim, uh, you love porn, right? Yes, I do. Okay, uh, what was the best and worst porn uh, that you've Taboo ever seen? Taboo 2 is the best porn I've ever seen. Uh, it's an incest theme. Is it? Yeah, it's really oh, so you, you need you a good plot, right? I, I have to have a plot. Some I, plot? Yeah, like, I, like the mother fucks the son and the daughter like blows the father while he's sleeping. It's fucking <laughs> phenomenal. Just, wow. It's like watching home movies. So after you, <laughs> after you squirt, you keep watching it? No, I, I'm fucking, I actually get up and come as I'm going to the TV to turn it off. <laughs> wow. So the plot line, oh, that's the squatters there. That's Abe Ruiz and the squatters. Oh, yeah. Full of stone white guys following a dirty Mexican. Guilty. All right. <laughs> now, uh, Opie and Anthony and yourself, you guys are the ones who broke the Anthony Weiner story. How did that happen? It, it, we didn't break the story. I mean, it was already broken, but right. Andrew Breitbart was in studio, and he had the, the actual naked cock photo. <laughs> and um, he was showing everybody, so he showed... Vince D'Onofrio was actually sitting next to me from... Uh, from Private Mother Pile! Yeah, it was... Wow. <laughs> Me and Private Pile are sitting there, and so I go, come on, man. We, we, we were, our guy was filming the whole thing, but I go, come on, man. It's not like we have any cameras. Meaning that me and D'Onofrio, neither one of us was going to snap a photo of his phone. Oh. I didn't know he was going to pass it around, so it got held up in front of a camera, I think, by Anthony or Ope. Right. And then uh, they both Twittered it, and uh, I went in and did another interview an hour later, and I came out, and it was all over well, the web. It's uh, amazing what? that, that uh, a show, like, you could affect politics and the outcome of... of Big, important stuff. Like yeah, they that, said that right? was the picture. Once Nancy Pelosi saw that, I mean, I'm surprised she recognized it. But they, uh, 
<laughs> they said that was the uh, that was the fucking photo that made her want him to step down. Oh man, we're, we're really glad you're here on your birthday. You did me a solid, man. Oh, of um, course, it's a lovely atmosphere. I'm enjoying myself. It's a very comfortable place to sit. Yeah, whatever you do, don't mess up the set. <laughs> All right, because I live here. All right. Now, um, you have a relationship with Kevin Smith. You were in. Um, I do. Yes. yes. I'm the king of one line in a movie. No, my not fucking... anymore. Aren't you going to be in that, uh, that new hockey film? He said so. Kevin likes me, so he just tries to keep me from killing myself. So I don't know if I'll actually be in the movie. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'll put you in. Then he gives me one line. Are you and serious? I, yeah. And then I blow it. And then I just... I, no, no I, I'm not good at more than one line. Like, for one line, I'm great. Like, and that's what I said. But anything after that, I'm shit. I think you're completely wrong. I, I've, when you were on Lucky Louie, you were fantastic. I, I know you love stand-up more than anything. I, I think on the radio, you're at your best because... You know, in a club, it's more like jump, jump over you. Yeah. You, go off, you went off on Club Soda Kenny the other day. It was just, uh, Anthony couldn't catch his fucking breath. Oh, yeah, it's always it fun to attack magic. people close to you. Yeah. Hey, what's the next birthday gift you have to got, Jimmy Boy? Blown. Blown? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Why'd you break up the relationship? It wasn't a relationship. It was a gift I paid for. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> of a woman of questionable gender. <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> uh, she's a lovely lady. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Um, hey, can you, can you imagine Jim Norton on the pig roast? How cool is that? I mean, still the nicest guy. Awesome. We're going to go to a commercial. We're going to come back with a surprise for Jimmy. Thank you. <laughs> We're flying a Spirit Airline to Pittsburgh. What'd you say, ten dollars? You Jew fuck? No, it's the only, the only flight my fucking balls. Spirit Airlines sucks. You better hug your fucking parents before you get on that fucking plane. Don't make me nervous. Anytime you fly Spirit Airlines, you crash in a cornfield. That's like a mile from the airport. Why don't they just move the airport to the cornfield? This is your captain speaking. We're crashing in a cornfield. There's butter under the seats. Thank you for flying Spirit Airlines and suck my cock on the way down. Headphones are now a dollar and a half. All right. Any time I get on an airplane, I'm never sitting next to a cute girl. I'm always sitting next to some old fuck that wants to talk to me, you know? Where are you from? Where are you going? I don't know you. Die! Where am I going? Look at your ticket. That's where we're all going. I flew recently. I got to meet the Pope. I was flying. The Pope was sitting right next to me. It was cool. He was doing a crossword puzzle, you know. He turns to me and goes, excuse me, a four-letter word for woman that ends with U-N-T? He said, it's ant. He goes, oh, you got an eraser? I already wrote cunt in the book. Yeah, I got, I, uh, the pulp wrote cunt? Okay. Pulp wrote cunt, needed an eraser. All right. Pulp wrote cunt, pass it down. Okay. Don't drink the milk, it's spoiled. Pulp wrote cunt. All right. Pulp got a stinky pussy. Don't say that. The pulp got a stinky pussy. You look, you look very annoyed during this. No, no, no. I was, I was enjoying it. I just, I'm, I'm so filled with shame. I don't know how to respond to nice touching. <laughs> wow. I just like I don't deserve it. Oh, fuck, you deserve it, man. Gonna, um, now you, you've got a club soda, Kenny. Would you call him your bodyguard or your traveling? I mean, the big gorilla fucking retard that you have all the time. He's my road manager. Um, he uh, does, road. yeah, does bodyguard work. I mean, just by nature. Have he's you like, ever been attacked? I feel like killing both of you. <laughs> no. 
Carry no. your own bag. What do you stink? <laughs> He does merch and all that shit. Yeah, he does right? merchandise. He just kind of lumbers and makes everybody uncomfortable, <laughs> which is what he does. Look at cadaver. He's hysterical. He is very funny. You do with him. Yeah. Fuck. You, you're an author. You're an actor. You're a comedian. You're a radio star. What haven't you done? You forgot rapist. Rapist. <laughs> <laughs> what haven't you done? He's never satisfied a woman. That's his, <laughs> <laughs> That's his George has the mirror. <laughs> George has the mirror. <laughs> One of the best guys in the world, Jim Norton. <laughs> we have a big surprise for Jimmy on his birthday. Come on out, man. Oh! oh. oh. He's adorable. Oh. Oh. oh! What a surprise. <laughs> we flew him all the way in from back over there, right? <laughs> yes. How are you, Andrew? Yes. How are you? Now, you lost almost 100 pounds, right? Yeah, what did you do? Take the glazed ham out of your wallet, you fat monster? <laughs> All right, now. Put a suitcase full of Twinkies down? No, no, no. Congratulations on your weight loss. You're wasting your way to a warehouse. All right. <laughs> what a gift. I thought this surprise would suck. <laughs> yeah. Thank God. That head belongs in a fucking meat store. All right. <laughs> so. Are you going to sing happy birthday to our delightful guest? Oh, good. They got you to sing? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> Hit it, Andrew. This is great. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You belong in a zoo. Happy birthday to you. He's adorable. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Oh, thanks, Andrew. Get back in your hutch. <laughs> Cameo, get out of here! All right, yes, yeah. salt. All right, now. <laughs> All right. Lovely. Guys on TV, combs his hair with a pork chop. Old <laughs> sandwich eating fat pig selfish food. All right, sorry. everybody. Jim Norton from the uh, ONA show. Uh, Comic-Con uh, convention here at the Javits Center. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power! Green Lantern's light! Has anybody in this building ever seen a vagina? <laughs> this is great. Let's all take a shit right here. Right now, a girl's getting raped in a hallway and you're at this fucking convention. <laughs> what a hero. But what do you do if you have to spit or fart? I let loose. Uh, what about number two? It doesn't matter. Nobody cares about number two. Oh, this sucks. Get me out of here. Only good thing about today, cold beer. Your eyes are a little off center. Yeah. Did the box lady help you with the costume? It's madness. Ladies and gentlemen, JFK's brain. I start the bidding at forty dollars. Do I hear fifty? Nothing. I got nothing on that one. Loose joints. Check it out. Loose joints. Check it out. This must be casual Friday. How are you? How are you? Planet of I can't understand the fucking word he's saying. The Mark Wahlberg, uh, Wahlberg movie care. sucked though, right? Like the original, right? <laughs> okay, let's nice talk and he take that. Alright. Oh, there's a black guy. Guilty. Ah, wow! Hello! Woo, baby, baby! So you decided to get, go without a costume today, huh? Yeah, I'm going all natural! All right. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, my stockbroker. Give my verbal consent to Dash TV to use my likeness and footage for pig roast. Big mistake, big mistake. <laughs> Do you have any superpowers? 
to bake wonderful cupcakes. Anything extra in the cupcakes? Uh, a little something something, but I can't tell you. A little something something, yeah. okay. <laughs> that means pot. <laughs> we have her name. I got arrested for sloppy pot once. They gave me one phone call. I called Chicken Delight. <laughs> in this cocksucker and get nothing. <laughs> Where's my gun ball? I'm really proud and excited to introduce this band, Bagora. <laughs> By accident? Yeah, Jesus I Christ, you must have I was so drunk, I thought it was a Heineken. Oh, God. You and then I drank it all the way down, and then everybody said, you know, you just drank it on duels, and I didn't know it. Did you? Really? Yeah. Did you still? I heard there's a little alcohol in there, but not yeah, yeah, Well, right. Shane, Shane was drinking, uh, well, he was off the drink for a little while, uh -huh. and he came most, home with like four cases of, of my fucking lights. He found you out. Stopped drinking he found while he was asleep for a half hour. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> half hour? All right. <laughs> well, he thought that, you know, he knew that. He knew that he could get away with it because his wife wasn't going to bust his uh -huh. balls if he was drinking old duels. So we drank <laughs> like fucking 987 fucking old duels in like three hours. <laughs> I was like, let me fucking tell you something about this place. Are you kidding? Wow. This is not a lie. This is not a lot. Yeah. This is real Pagora stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the 
fucking A, man. Yeah. That, Absolutely. That was amazing. I'm By the way, I, I want to tell you there. something. Yeah. I'm, the only reason why I'm doing this show, it's, it's not because of George, because I'm actually pissed off at George. What the fuck? I'm really fucking pissed off at this fucking What guy. the fuck? What? I'm only here because of you. <laughs> what, did I, what did he do, man? Do you remember when he cock-blocked me in Peoria? Remember, remember that show I talked about when I wrote the song, The Devil's Tickling Your Toes? Yeah. Because we were doing a double bill. Well, what are you going to do with that little Irish cock Yeah, you cock-blocked me. <laughs> you fucking cock-blocked me. Who your mother's cunt then? <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. I don't want to talk to him. Drunk and Irish donkey. <laughs> no, he's not drunk. He's got to work not tomorrow. drunk yet. You're not drunk yet. <laughs> yeah. And I use the word yet. Yes. <laughs> so you guys are, what is it, iTunes now that can hear your Yeah, shit? we're on iTunes, Amazon, all the major download sites. What's the rule to be in a Kevin band? You can drink as long as you can perform, it's yeah, fine. If you, yeah, if you can't handle it. Or bring yeah, if you're a pussy, fucking, no fucking way. Right, right. but you away. don't break balls go as long away. as they no, deliver, right? Shit, as long as you, you don't do your job. They, yeah. If you don't do your job, then you're a fucking pussy. You don't fucking show up. Really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, how about we shoot some heroin into Shane's cock and have him play Flight of the Bundle? He's done that already. That's the flip side of the devil tickled me toes. <laughs> That's next how, album. How great is, are these guys? Yeah! Really? Thank you! When I drank a beer just the other day, fell on my arse and drank again. Ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-